The Senator from Middlesex and Norfolk, Ms. Spilka, and the Senator from Plymouth and Bristol, Mr. Pacheco, move that when the Senate adjourns today, it do so, does so in the memory of Paul Spooner. Paul Spooner, a lifetime advocate for people with disabilities, passed away unexpectedly on October 8, 2022, at the age of 67. Born in Hawaii, Paul lived overseas until a genetic muscular atrophy disability manifested during his elementary school years. Returning to the United States at the age of eight, he attended and graduated from the Massachusetts Hospital School in the class of 1973. Urged by his parents, Paul attended Southeastern Massachusetts University and with assistance from the Massachusetts Rehabilitation Commission, he graduated in 1981. His advocacy for those with disabilities or folks with varying abilities began during his time at SMU. Paul, witnessing the barriers faced by students with disabilities as well as soldiers returning from Vietnam, committed himself to improve access and educational opportunities for all. As a student, Paul volunteered for a disability agency and became an original incorporator of Independence Associates in Lakeville. He eventually left the board and became an employee, holding several positions before leaving in 1992 to work for what is now known as the Metro West Center for Independent Living as executive director, a position he held until the time of his passing. During his time at the Metro West Center for Independent Living, he also held the positions of vice president and president of the National Council on Independent Living, board member of the National Rehabilitation Association, president of the National Association of Independent Living, chair and vice chair of the Massachusetts Statewide Independent Living Council, communications director for the Massachusetts Association of Independent Living Centers, editorial board member of the Journal of Sexuality and Disability, member and vice chair of the Massachusetts Personal Care Attendant Workforce Council, board member of the Human Service Providers Council, and commission treasurer of the Massachusetts Commission on the Status of Persons with Disabilities. For three decades at the Metro West Center for Independent Living, he worked effectively for legislative victories, many legislative victories, that not only improved the lives of many people with disabilities, but also for those caring and dedicated professionals employed as personal care attendants. Paul's temperament, diligence, and humor garnered him respect from his peers, legislators, and staff. Never looking for personal accolades or recognition, his sole mission was to ensure a better life for all people with disabilities. In addition to his tireless advocacy, Paul was an avid photographer, traveler, bird watcher, and military historian. His interest in these pursuits were developed at an early at young age, and he shared that frequently with his dad before his passing. Predeceased by his parents, William M. and Margaret E. Spooner, and by his sister, Gretchen L.S. Landry, Paul is survived by his loving partner of 43 years, Winifred A. McGraw, and his brother-in-law, Kenneth R. Landry of Florida. Paul, I am lucky to have considered and to have counted Paul as a dear friend in addition to somebody who I relied upon for advice, feedback, never to be shy to tell me what he thought, what was best for folks with all, all abilities. All those in favor of this motion say aye, oppose no. The ayes have it and the motion prevails. I ask just for a moment of silence in memory of Paul Spooner.
Thank you. Okay. The Senator from Essex and Middlesex, Mr. Tarr, moves that the Senate now adjourn. All those in favor say aye, oppose no. The ayes have it, and the Senate stands adjourned in memory of Paul Spooner to meet again on Monday next at 11 a.m. Thank you.